Hi, Kitty Wink, Wink listeners. listeners. I'm Juliana. And I'm Lindsay. Glad you're all here for story time. Okay, open hearted, playful, and intelligent listeners. This is episode number four of our sports series. Our mascot and octopus pal, Ozzy, is thrilled to have you as a member of the Kitty Wink crew. Together, we make an amazing team. Yes, we do. All right, Team Kitty Wink, it's time to guess the sport in this story. Lindsay, we are ready for your three clues. Okay, clue number one. It's played with a felt-covered rubber ball. Felt-covered? Mm-hmm. Okay. Clue number two. It can be an individual sport, or you can play on a team. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Clue number three. Before 1986, the year you and I were born. Great year. Mm-hmm. Before then, the ball used was white, and now it is always yellow. Wow. Okay, that I didn't know that, but I think I know the sport. Listeners, what do you think? Uh, is it tennis? It is tennis. You got it. So tennis, you know, you can play one-on-one or you can have a partner. And yeah, we all think of tennis balls as yellow, but right. they used to be white. That's the clue that gave it away to me. <laughs> yeah. Listen for geometry and geography in the story. Remember, geometry is mathematical and geography is about locations. Let's go team. Come along with us. It's time to listen and then we'll discuss. Buddy, go team Kenwick. Maria's sister Adriana makes tennis look so fun and effortless. And Maria dreams of the day she'll be able to play with Adriana, but she keeps that wish to herself. Adriana may very well be the best tennis player in Brazil. Wow. Mm -hmm, That's the country they live in. She at least earned the title of best junior player in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. She lives in the Flamengo neighborhood of Rio de Janeiro. She loves living in that neighborhood because she's close to Flamengo Park. Flamengo Park is the largest city park in all of Brazil. So it has many tennis courts, which was very appealing to Adriana, of course. Oh, that's cool. And if it's the largest city park, it probably has a lot of other things to do, right? Glad you asked. It also has big fields, skating rinks, model airplanes, biking, basketball courts, volleyball, a playground. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is a lot of things to do, right? And beyond sports, it also has many museums, monuments, you name it. Oh, cool. Adriana spent most of her time on the courts, but Maria, well, she did a lot of other things. What do you mean? She didn't play tennis with Adriana? She didn't. Remember, she wishes she could play, but she keeps that wish to herself. If Adriana is the best tennis player, Maria might very well be the worst. Womp womp. Yeah. Even the scoring was wildly confusing to her. <laughs> love really means zero. So when it's zero, zero, it's love, love. <laughs> and then why do the points jump to 15 and then 30 and 40? And oh, man, it made her head spin. But she did want it all to make sense. She didn't always want to learn tennis in the past. But recently, she's become more interested And she decided to find a tennis coach. Oh, that's great. I'm sure a coach could help her understand the scoring and the rules as well as help her with swing. Yes, it usually is really great to have a coach help you, but unfortunately not this coach. She realized right from the start that her lessons were not going to go the way she initially thought they would. Oh, no. What happened? Well, her coach wasn't the nicest. In fact, she may very well have been the meanest coach in all of Brazil. Oh, gosh. Maria had never had a tennis coach before. She thought, maybe coaches are always mean. Maybe that's how you get better. You need someone to point out everything you're doing wrong. Uh, No, no, no. That's not the way it should be. (laughs) No, definitely not. But she didn't know, so she went along with her lessons. If you listened in on the lessons, you could hear Coach saying things like this. Maria, you are the slowest tennis player I've seen. Hurry up. Three laps around the court before we start. Wait, she had to run around the perimeter of the court? 
that's not part of the game. Yes, and I'm so glad you used the word perimeter. Thank you. (laughs) Perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. For tennis courts, the standard perimeter is 228 feet. Her coach made her run around that perimeter so many times. Always when she first got there, and then also when she had a bad play. Maria, you call that a serve? That ball went way out of bounds. Are you even trying? Maria really was trying, but she felt like she was getting worse with each lesson, not better. Did her sister Adriana know about this coach and these lessons? I'm so glad you asked. Maria didn't tell Adriana because she wanted to surprise her with her skills. And she didn't want Adriana to feel like she had to help Maria. Mm. Maria didn't want to be a burden to her sister. But actually, Adriana really wanted to help. And one day she happened to walk by the tennis court during Maria's lesson and she overheard, Maria, more laps. And then after, I need you to show me a better backhand. That last backhand was trash. Adriana turned when she heard the name Maria and her mouth dropped open when she heard this coach's tone. She hustled over and immediately interrupted the lesson. Hi, so sorry to interrupt, but Maria, I need you to come with me, please. Maria apologized to the coach, who grumbled a few unkind words and left with Adriana. Embarrassed by what Adriana saw, but also so relieved to be finished with the lesson. And she was finished with that coach forever. Sister, why didn't you tell me you wanted to learn to play? I would love to help you learn, and in a completely different way than what I just saw happening on that court. Oh, really? I didn't want to bother you, Maria said, but was secretly beyond relieved. A bother? No way. Plus, I actually have a friend who gives the best lessons. She's a better instructor than me, and I think you would really like her. Adriana set Maria up with her friend Mimi, and they started lessons the following week. Maria could tell right from the start it was going to be a lot better. Maria, my teaching philosophy goes with the word love. The L stands for learning. You are here to learn. You aren't supposed to be perfect or even close to perfect yet. You are here to learn, and we'll take it one step at a time. The O stands for opportunity. I will give you plenty of opportunities to work on your skills, to hit the ball, and to get better. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is my type of lesson. And just like how you use the word love in scoring for tennis, she uses it for teaching. I wonder what V and E stand for. The V stands for value. I value you as a person, Maria, and your thoughts. If you think something's too hard, I want to know. If you don't understand something I'm explaining, I want to know. I value your time, and I want to make it worthwhile. And the E stands for energy. And the energy I want and expect is positive. That's also the energy I will give to you. Yes, positive energy is definitely what I need to get better at something. I love it. Learning, opportunity, value, and energy. Love. It was so great. And like you, Juliana, Maria really benefited from the E part of practice, (laughs) the energy. It was all positive energy all the time. Yay. Even when she had a bad swing, the energy from Coach Mimi was still positive. Maria loved going to her lessons, otherwise known as opportunities to learn and be (laughs) valued. And they sounded more like this. Maria, excellent hustle. Loved your swing. You were just a little off. You'll get it next time. Awesome. And with that kind of teaching, she actually did get it next time. She was far from perfect, but she'd found the perfect coach and loved having love (laughs) sprinkled into her lessons. It really made a world of difference. And that's the end. Let's call a Kitty Wink. Hi, Kitty Wink crew. Juliana here. After a live reading of this tennis story, we were able to interview some Kitty Winks who came to our event. It was really awesome. And though there is a bit of background noise, we're sorry for that. We do hope you enjoy these conversations. 
and the extra would you rather questions. Okay, Kitty Wink crew, here goes. Hi, Kitty Wink. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Carter. Hi, Carter. Where are you from? Oak Park. Oak Park. And what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. I love blue, too. Can you tell me what story did you just hear about? What sport was the story about? Tennis. Tennis. And were there sisters in the story or brothers? Sisters. Sisters. And did the older sister help the younger sister out at the end and get her a really nice coach? Yeah. And her first coach, was her first coach nice or was her first coach mean? Mean. Mean. Would you want to play for a mean coach? No. No. Do you want to get yelled at by a mean coach? No. No, that's not fun. But it would be fun to have a nice coach, right? Yeah. Okay, Carter. I wonder, do you have a would you rather for us and our listeners? Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Would you be a shark or a penguin? A shark or a penguin? Hmm. Well, a shark would be cool because you could swim underwater, right? But I think I would want to be a penguin because I would like to waddle around. You do? On the slide. How do penguins slide? On their feet or on their belly? Belly. Aw, awesome, Carter. Well, thank you for being on the show. Hi, Kitty Wing. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? My name is Evan, and I'm from Oak Park. Oak Park. That's awesome. And what story did you just hear about? Tennis. Have you ever played tennis? Yes. And what color are the balls that you hit in tennis? Yellow. Yellow. And we, we heard the word perimeter. Do you remember what perimeter was about? How big it is. How big it is! Yes, exactly! That was the perimeter of the court. And what was the word that was used a lot in this this story? Love. Love, yeah. And would you want to be coached by the nice coach or the mean coach? Nice. Why? Because I don't want to be mean. Yeah, and I don't want to be yelled at, right? Yes. Okay, I mean, do you have a would you rather for us and the audience? Would you rather be a tennis puppet or a tennis rack? A tennis puppet or a tennis racket? Ooh, man, oh man. I think I would like to be a racket because I would hit the tennis balls so hard and far. What about you? Tennis puppet. Tell us why. Because I can sneak and eat. Yummy treats. Ooh, that's a good idea. Puppets have mouths, right? And they can eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on, Emmett. Bye. Hi, Kitty Wing. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Hi, my name is Noah, and I'm from Oak Park. Hi, Noah. And what story did you just hear? What was the sport? Tennis ball. Yeah, it was about tennis, and they played with tennis balls, right? Yeah. And um, where was this, where did the story take place? Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, you're right. And did you learn anything about tennis? Um, that it's not about how good you are. It's about if you want to do it or not. Yeah, if you want to play or not and if you have the heart to play, that's such a good point. And which uh, coach would you want to be coached by, the mean one or the nice one? The nice one. Tell us why. Because um, the mean one was really, really mean, and the nice one was really, really nice. Yeah, and it would be a little bit better to be with a nicer coach, right? Yeah. Totally. And do you think that the sisters helped each other out at the end? Yes. Yeah, the big sister showed up, right? And she helped out her little sister. Yeah. Okay, now do you have a would you rather for us? Yes. Would you rather live in California or New York. Oh my gosh, that's like impossible to choose from because both places are so amazing. But right now, because we live in Chicago and it's still cold, I'm going to say California where the sun is shining most days. What about you? Me too. Yeah, tell us why. Because the same thing, it's really cold here and at California it's usually always warm. Oh, well thank you Noah. Goodbye. Hi, Kitty Wing. Can you tell us your name and where you're from? 
My name's Ada, and I'm from Oak Park. Hi, Ada. And can you tell us what story did you just hear? Um, it's about two girls where, like, one girl says she's really good about at tennis, and the other girl um, it doesn't she think she isn't really good at tennis, and she has a really mean coach, and then... One day, her sister comes and sees her with her mean coach, and her mean coach is saying stuff that's kind of mean. And um, her sister says, "Oh, well, I can show you a coach that's better." And then she, and then she got a better coach. And how did she feel when she was with the mean coach? Kind of frustrated and surprised. Yeah, it wasn't so fun, right? No. And then she had a nice coach that used a specific word um, as her teaching philosophy. Do you remember the word she used? Love. Yeah. Well, you did a good summary of the story. I think you learned a lot. Now, I have a question. Do you have a would you rather question that you want to um, ask? Uh, sure. Okay. Would you rather eat pickles, pickles with hair in it or donuts with hair in it? Oh, my gosh. I have to pick one of those? Oh, my goodness. Pickles with a hair. Blech. Or donuts. With, I, you know what? I would probably pick donuts because I think that the sugar and the sweetness of a donut would help me eat, eat the hair. What about you? Uh, I don't know. You wouldn't eat any of them, would you? No. <laughs> well, thank you so much. This was so awesome. Bye. We hope you enjoyed our tennis story and those amazing live interviews. Yes, it's so fun hearing from our Kitty Wink community, and we would love to include you on our Kitty Wink team, too. If you want to be on the podcast, email us at contactkittywink at gmail.com. And parents and caregivers, check out our Instagram page at Kitty Wink Crew. Thanks for letting us share what we love and for being part of Team Kitty Wink with us. We will end with a reminder from our favorite pal, Ozzy, to lead with your three hearts. That's showing love and kindness with your body, mind, and words. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for the support. Goodbye. Stories written and read by Juliana Bria and Lindsay Farley. Original theme by Miriam Mayer. Artwork by Amy Nicholson and Maggie Porter. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This has been a Kitty Wing Crew production.